Hello my friends, this is Wolfgang with Tools for Ascension and my gift to you today uh, is this video about releasing trapped magical beings and nature spirits. Uh, this meditation will most likely make a significant influence in your life. Um, I have found in my work, you know, of clearing properties, you know, of past life, trauma, karma, stack ghost portals, curses, and other dark overlays, when I stumbled uh, across uh, trapped nature spirits like leprechauns, fairy, the fae, unicorns, etc. Um, they had been impressed in the past by our own selves, our own past incarnations, or our ancestors into our service, or for wealth and power. And uh, many, many of my uh, clients they were very powerful beings in the past and are waking up. And so uh, they all pretty much walked on the dark side, or most of them. And um, so they are trapped though, so at least their ancestors. And uh, so many of these uh, nature beings had been severely tortured and are still trapped in some kind of uh, um, ways in, in stones, rocks, vessels, crystals, uh, magical realms. And uh, so these beings are very, very upset. And uh, let me just right now take this opportunity and state that I initially thought that unicorns were like a cutesy thingy, you know, in line with pink Barbie dolls and uh, glitter rainbows. Ah, yeah, little do I know. <laughs> so there are a very delightful creatures with very, very powerful heart chakras, a great sense of humor, and uh, yes, uh, magic. Let's say they can show you the magic in your life again. So, um, having a, a leprechaun, for instance, being angry with you, uh, and this is uh, not coming here for me studying folklore or, you know, armchair philosophy, but uh, from talking to leprechauns and also the high selves um, of my customers. And uh, yeah, those leprechauns and other beings, they can have some very devastating effects on our lives. Uh, yeah, you may have wealth or your family may have wealth, uh, but is uh, never really able to enjoy it. You know, there is no love in your life, uh, no more joy and wonder. And actually, I'm coming from a family like this. Uh, very powerful uh, industrialist, but <laughs> very unhappy people. Uh, on the other hand, uh, having nature beings as your friends um, brings in many blessings uh, as uh, good luck and, and friends and happy moments and also playfulness around life. Uh, just in a way like butterflies and hummingbirds, it can bring some simple beauty into your life. I'm not saying that I'm being French with nature spirit will butterflies and hummingbirds into your life, or maybe, uh, but uh, just other things, you know, magical, so-called magical moments. And uh, so keeping these uh, nature spirits uh, trapped and imprisoned is uh, definitely against the law of free will and uh, means against the law of love. And if you want to raise your vibration and align with a 4 and 5D, 5-dimensional five higher consciousness, you better release those old slaves that you and your ancestors made. And by doing so, we will gain again access to the beauty and the sacredness of the overlaying dimensions. Uh, 
becoming one with nature again, uh, but this time as uh, co-creators, communing and helping each other, you know, with all those different beings. And I have found uh, that leprechauns also live in Africa, probably under a pseudonym or a British safari gear. Um, and they too have been blackmailed into giving wealth and other benedictions, uh, which again, of course, has never really brought happiness to those families. And while there are also some warnings before any nature spirits are set free, they have to forgive us, our ancestors and humanity, because we cannot be responsible if you set them free and they start taking revenge. Uh, so, you know, please no shooting from the hip here, setting them all free at one time. I tried that one time and <laughs> uh, got quite a headache. Uh, so your intent uh, counts regarding your own incarnations as well as for your own ancestors. So you can apologize for them and ask source, means God, absolute source, uh, to have all damage, black magic, pain, etc. cleared in the name of the uh, cosmic Christ, you know, the sources love and forgiveness principle, you could say. Uh, so if humanity keeps clearing the old pain and karma uh, with the other realms, um, and of course also among each other, and uh, depending on where you are at the path of purification, sooner or later you will also have to deal with the other realms. Uh, but I say, you know, do not wait to the end. Uh, because um, these realms really affect you and your personal life. So um, if you're stumbling about this meditation, go ahead and do it. So if humans keep clearing, you know, this old pain and karma with the other realms, peace and prosperity and harmony through synergy, through working together, uh, will ultimately emerge. So making slaves is always bad karma. And so it is, you know, with keeping nature spirit as slaves. Uh, like the house elf in Harry Potter, uh, though he did not seem to have any powers uh, of cursing besides, uh, let's say, um, passive aggression. Uh, so, but uh, setting those slaves free uh, will be less of a burden on you and uh, can actually uh, lead to great spiritual benedictions. And also, uh, just please accept only the information that resonates with you and understand that my knowledge comes from uh, 40 years of intense spiritual studies, intense spiritual practice, and uh, several thousand past life regression where I talk uh, to the high serve aspects of my clients and uh, explore and help clear the root causes of the issue. Uh, and yes, uh, I still do a personal Skype session, uh, just uh, send me an email. Uh, before we go on to the guided meditation, I want to point out some uh, principles that I've found will support the success of any guided meditation. So, for instance, if you are into minerals, um, you know, you can um, use uh, angelite, um, also other things like amethyst, uh, spirit quartz, or roth quartz. Uh, they're all uh, wonderful to connect you with the higher realms, the finer realms, uh, as well as uh, probably if you want to see the secrets that are hidden in the darkness, you probably want to use some obsidian, this uh, black glass-like uh, stone. And uh, <clears throat> if you're really into uh, sacred uh, geometry, you should uh, watch my video on the platonic solid symbol and how to use it. It will knock your socks off. It is very, very powerful, uh, especially in conjunction with minerals and crystals. 
but it will also empower any uh, oils and other paraphernalia, including yourself. Um, and it's completely free. I'm not charging anything for this. So anointing your chakras with essential oils uh, of the, I would say, violet vibration, like lavender, um, peppermint is a good idea. Uh, probably anything with robes is good for the heart. Um, before the meditation, it is great to have a nice hot bath. If you can have that, have a smudge. If you cannot have that, uh, use incense, uh, like a Nag Champa is a really nice incense. There's also some good Tibetan ones out there, or sandalwood. Um, having a massage uh, with a high vibrational massage therapist uh, can be very beneficial. And uh, of course, a lot of this can be done with uh, yoga. If you can do a full yoga set before, it is going to be a lot better meditation. And if you cannot do that, but no breath of fire, try to do 5, 10, maybe 20 minutes breath of fire. 20 minutes, that should be awesome. So, uh, for the guided meditation, uh, sit uh, comfortable in an office chair like I'm doing. Uh, or um, balance your body so it stacks up nicely and you do what is called the Sufi grind where you just you slide around. Uh, just make sure you don't get any back pain by sitting stiff. So you can, you know, with the Sufi grind you can adjust to your energy flow and ultimately run more energy like Kundalini through your nervous system without having too many obstructions uh, there. Um, use uh, earbuds or headphones uh, to cancel out, out nice uh, distraction. Also the audio quality generally is a lot better. And uh, do not drive or operate heavy machinery uh, listening to this, especially with a podcast. Do not do this. This is going to space you out. And uh, it can be very, very dangerous. Uh, also, uh, smile like an idiot, uh, because you will not have access to higher dimensions um, unless you smile and vibrate at a certain love frequency. Also, uh, breath work uh, is an important, very, very important thing. Uh, most beginners that uh, initiate into this work uh, do not breathe properly. And if they would breathe uh, like a skin diver, um, they would just really go places. Uh, but because they do not, they're just like, ha, ah, lukewarm, hanging in there without uh, that much going on. It's like uh, overclocking your computer when you uh, breathe more. Um, and um, so uh, you do not also have to repeat my affirmation and you do not have to translate <laughs> for your spirit guides. Um, they will all understand me. Uh, just align with, with uh, what I'm saying, with the intent. So say your Amen, Amen, Yes, No, Nod your head, I give thumbs up, uh, smile. Uh, it is your will. I'm not your mommy or daddy or your guru. Um, but you can align with my intent. Also be in a childlike state of innocence during the garden meditation. Smile like an idiot and preside in your heart. Just uh, reside in your heart, but pay attention to what pops into your mind. Yeah, but just be relaxed and do not judge and say, how is this possible? Because that type of questioning uh, puts you right into the head again, where you start to rationalize. And so you're not in this receptive state anymore. Uh, also, if you want to, you can place your hands gently over your heart in solar plexus or you hold uh, crystals uh, in your hands. Have one thumb up. I have crystals in uh, both of your hands. Huh? Uh, this will give you a nice uh, energy lift. Okay, now close your eyes. And first of all, we want to only connect with the organic, um, the real thing, 
let's say if you have connect to the sun um, there is a lot of manipulation to the sunlight through uh, let's say chemtrails or electromagnetic vibration like the harp system um, all there's such an ocean of uh, vibrations nowadays from all the satellite technology, cell phone technology. Um, all the frequencies are being used and so of course this modifies for instance the sunlight and other things so uh, also there are certain mental concepts that we have that may be misleading about the sun uh, and about other things uh, you know that come from culture or just being in a, trapped in a physical body well, other things so we like to all side trips um, distortions of reality and be connected as truly as possible to the real thing and I call this organic uh, connection so we want to connect now to organic source the source of everything Amen. and also our own higher self are completely organic now. Amen. Into our spirit guides all the way up to source now. Amen. And as a more local representation of source in the physical world. We connect to Milky Way galaxy, this huge mother-like consciousness that contains so many billions of conscious beings throughout all the dimensions. And the same with the sun, of course everything organic, and the earth, and the elements here, and the directions here, like south, north, east, west, up, down, and the looks inside. And all the beings that are still loving us unconditionally. Thank you for coming. Amen. And we ask that everything that happens in and from the session here is going to be for the highest good in divine harmony with the most benevolent outcomes. Amen. This is very important that you agree to this. Otherwise things can go sideways. So that would be your karma then. So <laughs> very important. Mm -hmm. And we also ask that everything that we're doing uh, goes right to the root cause of our issues in the most efficient, effective, joyful way that we are completely protected in every aspect and that our innocence is being revealed again and our connection with Source and the reason why we incarnated in this incarnation here we cleared and that we again clear the karma and uh, whatever obstacles are there in our relationship with nature spirits. Amen, 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 amen. And now, on the inhale, allow the love for Mother Earth to just seep into your body. And on the exhale, just send your love through your legs and spine into the earth. Imagine that with your breath, they expand gradually like tap roots deep into the earth. And on the inhale, you just pull her love through those roots into your body all the way up. And on the exhale, you just breathe all the way down till no more air comes out of your belly. It's all empty, nothing left at all. Nothing, nothing. And then smile like an in it and just pull it in all the way up into your body. And then on the exhale, 
until I fall the way down into the earth. And just like the ocean laps at the beach, up and down the shore, this is how you breathe, very smooth, organic, sensuous would be good, and deep, like a skin driver. You want to hear the air flowing through your nostrils. And while you running love with Mother Earth, this means smiling like an ear and sending love up and down with your chi. We asked our highest spirit guides to clear from us any blocks and obstacles that we have towards connecting with the Earth Mother. Amen. Deep breathing, smile like an alien. And while you're still running love with Mother Earth, we ask again our most potent spirit guides to clear our spine and to adjust our spine and the energy flow through our spine and energy vortexes, so-called chakras, along the spine. Please do so now. Amen. And now we ask our spirit guides to also clear any ways through which our energy is being stolen and through which we are being manipulated against our highest good. And also any karma dumping. You know, please find our room on Cleon, continue to finish without us having to look at the details all in the name of the cosmic Christ, sources, unconditional love aspect. Amen, amen. Now put your tongue to the palate and on the exhale nourish your right brain half with the love for Mother Earth. Smile like an Indian, breathe like a skin diver. And while you're projecting this love into the right brain half and nourish it, we ask our highest spirit guides to please clear and align our celestial chakras, which go up to two meters or six feet above your head. Please do so now. Amen. And now start breathing on the exhale out the top of the head. Push that earth love all the way up to the ceiling. And imagine that there is this big cheese wheel of Milky Way and Galaxy. I smile like an idiot. And just uh, send your love up there. You may have to breathe quite hard uh, because most likely the crown chakra is cloudy. That's to be expected. So we just keep on breathing. Amen. And again, we ask the most powerful spiritual beings that love you and humanity in our line to the divine absolute creator to do another clearing of any black magic influences. I like reverse crowns and other things uh, like skull caps, nails, plates. Uh, cages, cast, uh, cords, entities like icons and attachments. Please find our move on Cleon and continue to finish as much as possible so we can have a proper connection to source again right now. Amen, 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 amen. Really agree to this and smile like an idiot. Mm -hmm. And now uh, we ask uh, that there is an outpouring of unconditional love, big time, from the heavens. And on the inhale, start uh, pulling this love into yourself. And on the exhale, just send your love out there. So go back and forth, and of course this love is being exchanged with those higher dimensional beings that love you unconditionally. Amen, 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 amen. Mm -hmm. 
And now on the inhale, you not only pull in the love from the heavens, but also from the earth mother into your heart. And on the exhale, you just expand this love in your heart. And you ask your spirit guides to clear any vows and curses that you put onto yourself or others put onto you not to love anymore. Amen, 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 amen. And all this pain you picked up from other people out of compassion, we also ask this to be cleared right now while you're pumping love into your heart chakra. Amen, amen, amen. And all the pain you picked up from other people to help them out. We like to clear this now, it doesn't help them nor you anymore. So please, Source, clear all this pain that we picked up from others. Amen, 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 amen. Also clear any martyr vows and replace those with <laughs> Both vows or just the intent to bring love instead of uh, transmute through suffering. Amen, 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 amen. That just slipped in there, but it's important. Mm -hmm. And now he asked that the goddess aspect of female high self or the anima in psychological term, please be in front of us now. Amen. And smile. And you may feel a presence in front of you, or a few of you may see the presence too. Anyhow, smile, and on the inhale, just draw the love of your female aspect into your heart. And on the exhale, send your love through the heart into her heart. As if you're just breathing back and forth through the hearts to each other and exchange your breath. All in. All the way out. And smile like an idiot. Mm -hmm. And now we ask your female high self, while you're running love with her, to give you like a yes. And a yes could be a flow of love, or flow of energy from the heart to your head, or she could just smile if you see her, or give you a thumbs up. Or you just hear yes. Um, so, uh, if you ask her to give you a yes now, amen. And if this wasn't strong enough, you ask her to make it a lot stronger and to give you a much stronger yes now. Amen. Uh -huh. And don't think you're making it up. And maybe one more time, give you a yes now. Amen. Okay. So, and now we ask for a no, which could be a frown, a thumbs down, maybe even a shaking of the head, or the yes could be a nodding of the head. Um, we can have, uh, but the safest is kind of the um, energy from the heart flowing towards the feet. And that is very difficult to make that up by yourself. Uh, so we asked your female high self to give you a no now. Amen. And if you haven't felt anything, ask her to make it a lot stronger and give you another no now. Amen. And one more time, ask for another no now. Amen. And if it doesn't work for you, maybe try kinesiology. No, but I'm not going to explain this right now. Or use the pendulum. Um, there is a video by me about this too, so check that one out. Mm -hmm. So now we asked our female high self if you or your ancestors in past lifetime 
have trapped beings like leprechauns, yes or no? And to be sure, ask whether you or your ancestors in past lifetimes have trapped leprechauns or beings like that, yes or no, amen. And if you're getting a yes, have you asked for ascension teams as well as uh, divine security uh, to be there, sent by source, authorized by thoughts? And then we ask that uh, those uh, caught leprechauns please be collected here, brought to, to our presence in a way, but in a humble way. Amen. And if you want, ask them to show you how they have been mistreated. Oh, this might be quite, quite harsh for some of you, but um, quite also enlightening. So have it shown to you now. Amen. And some of you just may feel pain in your heart or body parts, uh, which would also be or sadness, which would also be a reflection. So show them that too, dear leprechauns. Amen. And now ask that to be shown um, what you guys got out of the deal. You and your ancestors got out of the deal. You know, did you get money, wealth, land, power, a love, a beauty, fame? What was it that you got? And now ask whether you or your ancestors that got these type of benedictions uh, blackmailed out of these uh, leprechauns, whether they had happy lives, whether they could actually enjoy those riches, yes or no. And now ask your high self whether uh, to ask, please, the leprechauns, if you know, if you ask source to clear them and to let them go. And of course, again, apologize um, for what has been done to them. Um, yeah, actually ask them to show you how they screwed up your life. So this is much better and how it screwed up the life of your ancestors. There might be pattern of suicide or incest <laughs> or screwed up love relationships or diseases. Just uh, ask what kind of patterns did they affect you with. Amen. Also, you may ask how much of your bad luck is due to those leprechauns. Amen. And now uh, we ask, you know, source and uh, sources help us to uh, please uh, help those leprechauns with forgiveness. And once they have forgiven you and your ancestors, uh, you know, they might be reunited with loved ones. Actually, I like to have them reunited with their loved ones before they even have to give forgiveness now. Amen. And again, yeah, I like to and we like to apologize for the humans that mistreated them like this, as well as personally for our ancestors and if we did this ourselves. If you want to know whether you did it yourself, just ask your high self now. Amen. And now we ask Source to please clear all the spells that keep those leprechauns trapped. Of course, once they have forgiven. To keep all those contracts, traps, hooks with the barbs, uh, deals, 
chains, any devices, crystals, containers, whatever it is that keeps them track, please find out or move on, clear out, continue to finish. Amen, 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 amen. Also reunite them with lost loved ones that maybe have been held hostage, held hostage. Clear them from their trauma, their suffering. Show maybe how we humans got misled by other beings, like the Alpha Dacunians or the Reptilians or Anunnakis, by the Dark Ones. How we were seduced and tricked into doing those horrible things. Please show them now. And we ask them to forgive us now. And we ask them to be cleared now from anything that mounts them and escorted them back to their own realm where they belong, where they're happy. Amen, 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 amen. And smile and take earth love into your heart on the inhale and the exhale just send it into the heavens through your crown chakra all the way to the ceiling. And say, I love you, I'm so sorry, please forgive us, I'm so sorry, I love you. Just keep repeating this in your mind. Smile and breathe and send this love into the heavens. Yes, yes. And you feel probably a lightness just coming up, going above your head, and then it becomes brighter. And then there's a drizzling of kind of love, or higher vibrations coming down at you. That is a sign that they're leaving and have left. And now we ask source to clear their curses, their spells, their anger, their pain and any other baggage that is still with us from them now. Amen, 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 amen. Please clear this throughout our creations. Amen, amen. Just pull in love from heaven and earth into your heart and expand it. And send it with your intent to the leprechauns. I don't know whether they will accept it. Some of them have been very much hurt. But at least offer it. Mm -hmm. Some of you, this uh, love will be greatly accepted and appreciated. So you have to see for yourself. And now again connect to heaven and earth and pump your heart with love and connect with your female high self. Start running love with her and ask her, have you or your ancestors trapped any fae or fairies? Some of them are tiny little beings, like insect-like, and some of them are smart. Uh, well, they are all smart, but uh, more humanoid, like Lord of the Rings style. So, did we entrap? Any of those fairies of fae, yes or no? Did any of our ancestors trap any fairies of fae, yes or no? And if yes, we asked for ascension teams and security to be ready for them. And we asked that the priests be brought here and reunited with their loved ones, for instance and they have been kidnapped, this means they have been reunited or re separated from their loved ones. So please reunite them first. Amen.
and we ask them for forgiveness for our mis misdoing, for humanity, for our ancestors, for ourselves, for our greed, our cruelty. And if they have forgiven us, we ask that the cosmic Christ and Source clear them from any magic, from any spells, any contracts, any types of thing binds them, any tricks, anything that has been done to them to keep them bound and in our service. Amen, 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 amen. Again, run earth love into the heavens, smile like an idiot, breathe like a bellow. Think, I love you, I love you, please forgive us. Help us humans, help us humans to wake up mm -hmm. to the beauty of your own. Amen, amen, amen. And for those that have left now, we ask that their baggage, their curses be cleared. Also from us, from our ancestors, from our bodies, from the bodies of our ancestors. As all this trauma has been cleared on all dimensions, all the karma, all the black magic, contracts, etc., courts, etc. Amen, amen, amen. And now, again, uh, on love is your female high self, synchronized with her on the heart chakra level. And asked if we entrapped any unicorns, yes or no. Asked one more time. Did we entrap or our answers entrap any unicorns, yes or no? Also asked if we have uh, used any unicorn parts, you know, for our magic and stealing the energy in this way, yes or no. And if yes, we ask that these unicorns here please be brought here. Amen. And we apologize to them on behalf of our ancestors, on behalf of humanity, and of our own behalf too. And just ask how trapping them has been affecting you or your ancestors. What kind of patterns have they been affecting you? Please show us now. Amen. And show us, please, also, uh, if unicorns are on our good side, what kind of blessings can they give us? Please show us now. Amen. And again, uh, we ask your sentient teams to assist the unicorns uh, with any help that they need to forgive us, and if they do so, and then never had any problems with unicorns. We ask that they please be brought to their own realm, back and freed from any hooks, any barbs, any entrapments, anything that binds them into our service, whatever that is throughout our creation, for the highest good and divine harmony with the most benevolent outcomes. Amen, amen. So it is. And now we ask again our female high self if there are other nature spirits that we trapped or that our ancestors trapped that uh, should be released for the highest good. Now, amen. And 
if it is yes, we ask that those that can be released without them having any repercussion on us, like revenge, that they are please be brought here now. Amen. And that they please be reunited with their loved ones from their real. And we apologize on behalf of the humans, of our ancestors, as well as on our personal behalf. Amen. There probably a multitude of beings. So what we asked, how has been the effect on us from them? You know, their anger on us, their spells and curses on us. How has it been affecting our life, our personal life, and that of our family members? Please show us now. <coughs> Amen. And notice my throat is getting sore. <laughs> I'm getting a headache, so there's definitely some anger there. Mm -hmm. And now we ask that these beings be shown the reasons why we did this to them, or the ancestors, why they did this to them, how we got compromised by other beings, or by our own greed, how we have been manipulated towards the darkness, through pain, etc. So it will be easier for them to understand and to forgive us. Please show them now. Amen. Also show them how by not forgiving us, they will keep us in darkness and it will ruin the whole earth with the pain with humanity being out of balance, with the closed heart, please show them that too. Amen. And now we ask Source and Sources help us. Yes, to please help those nature beings to forgive us and to give permission to clear the karma. And so we like to have them again reunited with their love and freed from any bondage, whatever that is, and returned, healed, full of love and light to wherever they were taken from and integrated. Amen, 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 amen. And on earth love into the heavens, do you I love you? Please forgive us. Process. Mm -hmm. Ah, yeah, and you probably feel a lightness come over your heart. Again, smile like you did and really breathe. That sweet love, very important. If those beings see that you're not loving, that you don't have an open heart, they will not forgive you. But you can convince them with your love that you have, with the insight that you have, with the humility that you have gained by being punished by them. You cannot blame God <laughs> for that what has happened to you. It's certainly a blowback of what you did to others in past others lifetime. Ah, yes, and now we ask that all the baggage that's still with us from them be cleared as much as possible. Amen, 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 amen. And smile, and it's probably coming over you like waves. And smile, breathe deeply, relax. And he asked if there's still any beings that need to be cleared and released, please do so now, Creator. Amen. And if there's any aspects of us when we were in the fairy world or in other realms incarnated there, 
and many of us will. He asks that also those aspects please be cleared and released from whatever bondage is on them. Amen, 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 amen. And this can be quite intense on you. So just imagine that there is a laser, like a head white laser, connecting the core of the earth through your spine, all the way up to the center of Milky Way galaxy. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, now you ask us all the stuff that's still with you, wherever you're trapped, that this piece be liberated and reintegrated into your soul so that you can manifest your higher self or your highest self in this physical body again. Amen, 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 amen. And now we thank all those beings that came and helped us, assisted and protected us and we ask that we be filled with healing light, that any portals that are negative be closed and guarded, that any uh, empty spaces and tears in our force field be cleared and filled and sealed so nothing negative can come back in, that our DNA and divine blueprint be updated that all subtle bodies be aligned and you start slipping back into your physical body. Everything aligns perfectly. You become aware of your room and you open your eyes fully vacant back in vacant day consciousness. Amen. So my friends, again, <laughs> welcome back. Uh, do not uh, drive or operate heavy machinery right now. Take it easy. You probably feel a lot lighter, big weight lifted off your shoulders. Yes. So give it a thumbs up, subscribe, uh, share your comments, your experiences with your tribe of people that are attracted to this video. Uh, I will try to answer any sincere, intelligent questions. Um, I give personal sessions and those people that work with me, um, it's quite affordable. I'll definitely go onto the fast track. Um, keep smiling like an idiot. Uh, watch the other videos if you had good reaction to these videos. Chances are others are too. This is a kind of a loose system. Uh, that will help you uh, to wake up, um, take advantage of it. I do not think because it's free, it's not potent. This is very, very, very potent. Uh, I'd rather uh, give this away for free than making a few thousand dollars extra a month. And uh, then maybe at the time of death, 20,000 people didn't make it. <laughs> because I wanted more money. Hmm? I'm not going to do that. So, uh, I love you. Namaste.